Hello everyone, we are group 10 and I'm Timothy. Today our topic is talking about the globalizations of dreams. We are going to divide into four sections. First, we want to know how does globalization put the impact on people's dreams. Second, we have the comparison between Malaysia traditional tea and Taiwanese bubble tea. Last but not least, we will take coffee for example, then we will make a conclusion. Before discussing this topic, we have to define what is globalization. Globalization is the process of interaction and integration among peoples, countries, and governments worldwide. And let's start the first section. How does globalization put an impact on people's drink? In old time, trade plays a key role of spreading goods. For example, Coffee can only plant in the region between the Tropic of Capricorn and the Tropic of Cancer. So, coffee cannot be the most important cash crop without trade. In recent years, internet makes globalization faster than before. People can get any information they want via Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or even YouTube. Hi everyone, I'm Isaac. Today I will introduce you Malaysia Tiatare, Taiwan Bubble Milk Tea. Also, how does the bubble milk tea culture impact in Malaysia? First, let me introduce to you Malaysia's national drink, Tiatare. Tiatare is originated from the Indian Muslim immigrants who set up drink stalls at the plantations after World War II to serve the workers there. Teh tarik means pulled tea in Malay. Teh, taken from Hokkien dialect spoken, which means tea, while tarik, taken from Malay word, which means pulled. It is one of the most revered Malaysian drinks in the culture. Teh tarik is a combination of the black tea, condensed milk, and the sugar. It is poured from two cups at a long distance. The longer the pulling, the more the form, and the better the taste. Fun fact, while the foreigners usually get confused about how Malaysians order drinks in local coffee shops. Like in Taiwan, the workers will ask about the sugar level, the ice level. In Malaysia, we usually don't ask about this. Next, I will introduce you the Taiwan's national drink, the bubble tea. Bubble tea is originated in the early 1980s at a small tea stand. Well, there are so many varieties of bubble tea. There are different drinks, different sizes, different toppings, such as green tea, red tea, milk tea, medium and large size, pure, coconut jelly, and herbal jelly. Boba milk tea has a widespread popularity and repercussions. Such as in Malaysia, there is a famous area near Kuala Lumpur that is named as a bubble milk tea street. There is always a long queue outside of the bubble tea shop, although there are 14 stores of them in that area. There are more than 100 bubble tea shops in Malaysia, including the franchise and the local shops. For instance, the young generation also have started the bubble tea bingo challenge. There are more than 100 um, bubble tea shops in this list. In addition, let's look at this photo. The left side, this photo is the way how does the Taiwanese order drinks. While the right side, this photo is demonstrates how Malaysians order tea. Let's see the Taiwanese stuff. We choose your drink, choose the size, choose the topping, choose the sugar level, and choose the ice level. In Malaysia, we don't do like this. Let me show you some tips. For example, there's three types of te. Te, te si, and te o. Te is the one that does not add sugar, while the te o is the one that does not add condensed milk. If you want to have both of the sugar and the condensed milk, then you just need to order the te si. Well, if you want the tea that is like the pool tea, then you just order the te tare. Last but not the least, the creative, there are many creative food ideas that are influenced by the boba milk tea culture. 
For example, the boba cup noodle, the boba flavored crab, the boba hot pot, and the boba pizza. Starbucks globalization. Mm, sorry. Coffee was first found in Ethiopia, although some people say that the origin of coffee is not able to be proved. However, it is undeniable that coffee has become the world famous drink around the world. Um, coffee was brought into Arabia and become popular in the 15th century. The reason why it become, it become popular rapidly because um, it is banned in Eastern world. So coffee become a very special drink for them. And in 17th century, coffee was brought into Europe. In the beginning, coffee is a very, very expensive drink for them. So it is only for noble. And additionally, the first cafe started operating in Vienna. And in 1900s, uh, Eastern Asia started to be plain, start, started to plain coffee. And nowadays, in some um, Eastern Asia countries such as Indonesia and Vietnam, coffee has become an indispensable souvenir for tourists. When it comes to cafe, most people may think of Starbucks. Starbucks is the biggest and the most famous chain cafe around the world. The first Starbucks was found in Seattle in 1971, and now the first store of Starbucks has become a must visit attra attraction for tourists. <coughs> and now there are more than 14,000 stores around the world, and there are 5,000 stores in China, which indicates Starbucks success in Chinese culture because we all know that the classic Chinese drink is tea but now it's, it is going to replace, replace tea in the young generation of China and it also forms a trend around the world that people may think take a cup of Starbucks tea is a fancy behavior and now, I want to make a comparison between Starbucks and other Taiwanese brands. And today, I would like to take Luisa and Kama as an example. Um, in my experience, I think in Luisa and Kama, I can get almost the same experience as Starbucks with less money. And due to this reason, it is more attractive to the younger, younger generation because it is more affordable. Um, right now, and Starbucks is not the only choice for customers. There are a lot of multiple choice for us. And also, there are other special cafes with characteristics such as cat cafe and so on. So now, for people, drink a cup of coffee is not only for a wait. It is also can be a leisure time. Hello, my name is Anderson. I'm going to talk about the conclusion part. In conclusion, coffee has longer history than bubble milk tea. However, due to the convenience of transportation, many types of drinks can be sold to different countries easily. After these drinks sold to different countries, the seller may change the receipt or flavor slightly to adjust local culture. For this situation, we call it globalization. And globalization is the combination of two words, globalization and localization. The term is used to describe a product that developed globally but also has to adjust local customer. Both tea and coffee is easy for us to get. All we need to do is go into a convenience store and then we can get them quickly. But before we drink them, we should think twice how do these ingredients come from. As for my knowledge, coffee beans and tea usually come from undeveloped countries. And these workers usually oppressed by their boss. The boss only gives them little salary. 
the unequal distribution of resources deepen the disparity of between rich and poor, which is a negative effect of the globalization. Overall, globalization gives us a more convenient life. Because of the rapid growth of international trade and transportation, we can drink different beverages at different stores easily. At last, I want to call for everyone, think globally and locally. The whole world will be better through our efforts. After doing that, we can become a genuine citizen. This is the end of our presentation. Thanks for your listening.